um, for me, sculpture is a whole system of contrasts between fakery and real. And I think that's what fascinates me about my way of making, in that perhaps I'm not a particularly good maker in the craft traditional sense, but because of that, I've had to have, find other ways of putting things to, together. And that's led me to experimenting with materials and seeing what they can do beyond their usual use. So I found the use of paper combined with cement is actually a very, very strong surface, creates a very strong surface. And also this constant battle I have with the armature of whether the armature should be revealed or hidden. And as you can see from the walls, the armatures on the inside are all very visible. And some are necessary and some are fake. And so the work often emerges as a system, a relationship between what is necessary and what is pretense in a way. I mean, these are incredibly simple to make. They're just a very simple um, wire netting frame over two polystyrene discs that were actually offcuts from another work. And then, the, the, then they're wrapped in paper. <laughs> and then the um, scrim and cement is just literally thrown onto them. So it's a very, very direct method that is strong to some extent but also I think reveals a kind of fragility as well. I like an aggressive way of baking which is to be very direct and very quick. How the rooms communicate is probably key in that I wanted a whole series of contrasting episodes and that things would not be revealed instantly that in the studio, I didn't think about the audience, um, but once I started to assemble the work, the audience becomes as important as the objects themselves. And therefore, how they come and go and manoeuvre themselves around the work becomes a key part of the work itself. And also, being able to look up and look through and sometimes disappear, and then things are revealed again. So, in a way, that was a very important part of the work. I think the background to the whole exhibition is possibly during the time I was making the work, I felt a great sense of melancholia about the state of Britain and the referendum coming up. And I think the fragility and maybe the coming and going of the work, it's not that the subject is political in any way at all, but I think it reflects perhaps something of a kind of unease that I was experiencing at that time, as were many British people, you know. Also that sculpture plays with fakery the whole time, which is why I love it. Uh, sculpture is a medium that lies, <laughs> and you know, the truth lies behind the lie, and I, I think that's why I've always loved it. The told me that 